What's up ladies and gentlemen and one episode 2 we are carrying off from where we left off last time and last time we ended up getting the hidden blade repaired and we had a little go with it so yeah we are going to carry on today um, so as always if you are new to drop a follow on the channel and also subscribe to the youtube channel if you're watching this on youtube so as you know this is my third Assassin's Creed game so we are playing all of them so let's carry on shall we what better way than to just run for our life A lot of them. Jumping all the damn buildings right now. Cool. You were gone for quite a while. Bernardo likes to talk. That he does, but I trust he did more than talk. I've given you the skills, Leonardo's given you the blade. All that remains is the deed. Where can I find Uberto? According to my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of Verrocchio's latest work. It will be held at the Santa Croce Cloister. What? Of course, Ezio. As if they were my own. Is it the art show? I'm supposed to. Never mind. I don't want to know. Shut them up. Again with this? You have overstepped your bounds, Uberto. Who are you to speak of bounds? You, who have crowned yourself Lorenzo di Medici, Principe of Firenze. I've done no such thing. 
Of course not. Ever innocent. How convenient. At least now, we see how far your reach extends, which is to say, nowhere at all. It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes, your allies the Pazzi. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. You might attract the wrong sort of attention. Follow him without being detected. I guess I'm just gonna walk all the way around with him. You're enjoying yourselves. Indeed, a nice distraction from that nasty business with the auditore. And to think I once thought of Giovanni as a brother. Don't blame yourself. How could you have known he was the man? I say we should write that traitor's name from the record. You! Guards! Arrest him! <laughs> Abatetelo. Oh, because the body fell down. Shit. I'm gonna have to probably start that entire set thing over again. Yep. Until the end. Healing services for all the gods' flock. No, 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 Oh my god, now he doesn't want to climb. Okay, 
Okay, there we go. It's not crouchy. Eh? Good evening, Gonvaloniere, to you as well. I trust you're enjoying yourselves. Indeed, a nice distraction from that nasty business with the Auditore To think I won't start a Giovanni. Don't blame yourself. How could you have known what evils you had? I say we strike that traitor's name from the record books. Let history forget he ever even existed. Hmm. Yes, I sh if you'll excuse me for a moment. How am I going to assassinate him? <laughs> so, tell us, how does it feel to be a hero? Please, I am no such thing. As Gonfalonieri, it is my duty to ensure that the city of Firenze remains a shining beacon of justice. Corruption and its ilk shall find no purchase here so long as I am in control. You are a treasure, Uberto. I hope Lorenzo recognizes that. Yes, our great leader, Lorenzo. <clears throat> I'll see you ladies later. Okay. Ah, Uberto, there you are. I was just telling the others about the execution. I mean, no offense, but what if they did not act alone? You can rest easy, friends. I am confident that this treachery began and ended with the Auditori family. What of the other side? It's I'm guessing we went down. We'll be spotted by everybody. No danger. Soft hands and an even softer head. He'll be caught and executed before the week is out. Oh, don't let us keep you, Berto. We just wanted to say hello. <laughs> From the looks of it, I only have the three guards that are on top, right? Besides those three. And the one in the back. Do you even need to ask? Of course. Accept our thanks for this evening and for helping to keep Firenze safe. I always had my doubts about the Auditore. Where did the family even come from? Who gained such wealth and, and prestige in just a single generation? And the children with their odd names, always making trouble. No surprise given the company their father kept. Whores and thieves, I swear it. Indeed, it is clear now he sought to undermine the city. To overturn all we've worked so hard to be guessing when he's back his turn. That's over. <laughs> you Save the ones you love. Yes, I would. And I have. The Auditori are not dead. I'm still here. Me! Ezio! Ezio Auditori! Assassino! Eccolo! He's right He's a murderer! Hold the watch! Kidding. What folly is this? That's a funny outfit. I'm here, Fratero. Okay, why why did he stop climbing? Damn. Oh, 
He's getting away! A small tax shall be imposed for the pay. Bring me your sick and wounded. Only in the height of fashion, he's on display in my shop. I don't think there's fast travel. Now where do you aim from? Now I'm sure it's a misunderstanding. An accident. Oh yeah, yeah. No. One. Firenze. Where will you go? My uncle Mario owns a villa near Monteregioni. You're still a wanted man, Ezio. What would you have me do then? I've seen posters all across the district. Tearing them down will help the city forget your face. No doubt the heralds also inside the public. Bribe them, and they'll speak of other things. Or you could hunt those who bear false witness against you. They traded dignity for coin. Their loss would not be mourned. Do any of these things, and you should be free to leave. Okay. Remove posters, bribe heralds, or kill arrive. officials. This little meter will help you know how far you are between notorious and incognito. I, I was actually just on there. This will help you know if you should watch your actions. It'll also tell you if the notoriety level is part of Ezio's memory or not. Need a walking group, but none of them is going this way. the poster here could it perhaps be above I think so yep there we go
was it. Interesting. Ah, no, they don't even care. That is great. Climb the net. Oh, my goodness. Okay, back to the house. Bentornato, Ezio. Were you successful? Yes. Padre? Ezio! Where have you been? They wouldn't let us leave. And mother, oh, she hasn't spoken a single word since we left the house. Father will need to sort things out. Where is father? And Federico? And Bertuccio? Hmm? Something's happened. What do you mean? No, it's impossible. Claudia. No, 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 no. I did everything I could, Piccina. <laughs> Listen, right now what matters is getting us all someplace safe. But to do that, I need you to stay focused. Do you understand? Good. Will you watch over mother for me? Then we are ready. Thank you again for everything. Stay safe, Ezio. Stay vigilant. I suspect the road ahead is yet long. It's got Maria and Claudia out of Florence to Villa Auditore. Let's go. This guy can just run in front of me. You don't want to annoy him. Nothing for you here, Cafone. Bring our man a flagon of wine, for he has our cause at heart. Leave him not to suffer sorely. I refuse to give them my money. And I wanted to assassinate them so badly. They can't freaking climb, that's why. Mm -hmm. 
Andiamo. Qui, let's do it. How could this have happened to us? I don't know. Will we ever be back? I don't know. He doesn't know. Stay close. What will happen to our house? I don't know. Were they... Were they given a proper burial? Yes. They were. We should be close. Grazie, Dio. Escort Mara and Claudia to the Villa de Torre. without saying a proper goodbye. Ezio! What do you want, Vieri? So many things. A larger palazzo, two new steeds, a prettier bride. Oh, and yes, your life. My condolences for the loss of your father and brothers. <laughs> what will happen now that there's no one left to help you? I have such wonderful things in store for your mother and sister. Why can't I? I grow tired of this game. Finish him, and do not spare the women. What sorcery is this? <laughs> not sorcery, boy. Skill. Show yourself. As you wish. Here, use this. Kill them! Kill them all! Weapon unlocked. I need to just grab them. Oh, shit. Thanks. Keep the sword, Ezio. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't you recognize me? It's a me, Mario. <laughs> Uncle Mario. <clears throat> it's been too long, you both. It's a me, Mario. I heard what happened in Firenze. Terrible. Come, let's get you all away from here.
So, tell me everything. They executed father for treason. Federico and Petruccio, too. And they came for me. Do you know why? I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I think you will find much to like in Monterigioni. I thought Monterigioni was an enemy of Firenze. For now. Next year it will be its friend, the year after its enemy again, and on and on. I cannot keep track, so I have stopped trying. These are honest, hard-working people. Our shops may only carry simple goods, but they're well-made and dependable. There is a chapel here, too. De Prete seems a nice enough fellow, but I have never been much of a believer. Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great-grandfather, a strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. With all the fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. I wish I could do something about it. But I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. Guess that's life, huh? Here we are. Casa Dolce Casa. So, what do you think? It's most impressive, Uncle. She's seen better days, I suppose. Believe me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. Now that you have had the tour, Nipote, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. Begin? Begin what? I thought you'd come here to drink. No, Uncle. I came here to escape Firenze. And I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Wait. Did I tell you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ma che me convini, Giovanni? Where to even begin? Go and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. But... But that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money, should you need it. And if you find yourself in need of rest, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa. Market we go. Um, so we can buy armor. Holy shit, that ex that is expensive. We can't buy weapons. We can get small weapons. A dagger. I guess we'll just buy armor one time. Come and see me next to pass this way. The doctor, bro. Bring me your sick. Cool. Rest and you should be well recovered, friend. Nice. 
get some pouch acquired. Speed is up there, but damage, Ooh, nothing. Don't worry, we're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know. Salute, uncle. I did as you asked. And quickly, too. Pan fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. If not for me, for your mother and sister. Fine. Optimum. You can swing a sword to be sure, but offense alone will not carry a battle. You must survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. You said my father was more than just a banker. No use standing around it, I suppose. Your father was an assassin. I told you before, your father was a paper pusher. No, he was born in What the? That didn't even quick step anything. I've taught you how to avoid your enemy's attacks. You didn't now avoid anything. How to turn them to your advantage. All this talk of assassins and Templars, it, it reeks of fantasy. Like something from an old parchment covered in arcane writing, perhaps? How did you know? You have your father's blade. I figured you have the codex page he was holding as well. Codex! See, a guide to the inner workings of the Order. Origin, purpose, and techniques. Our creed Your father believed the codex to be a powerful thing. Something that would change the world. Okay, we're going to talk to Perry. Odio questi momenti di incertezza. Mia, Tap, you just going to stand. Ma che cosa aspetti? You're making fine progress, Ezio. Today I'm going to teach you how to position yourself in battle. Where you stand and how you move can make all the difference. Don't think I haven't seen you picking apart my library. I trust you believe me now? Yes. My father was an assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Cheat Mario. Into your own. It's much Thank easier you to just parry everyone's attacks. Your family, such is my duty and my desire. 
I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain in three days. But Nipote, I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike against our enemies. And if they find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your father fought and died for? To deny your heritage? Fine. Come voi. Arrivederci e buona fortuna. Uncle, wait. Why is he so upset? How can he not be? Vieri's been harassing us ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. Good to Mario. everyone they ride for San Gimignano to slay that snake I wish to join them we'll even go check on Maria oh shit are they upstairs Look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it. Go and find it's on me, Mario. Sure, you want to go? Yes. Responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene. Then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it. So this is where we'll strike, Pronti? It's on me, Mario.
All right, Ezio. Here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. I'll attack go! Good now. Well done, Ezio. We're in. This way, man. I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully it will buy me enough time to find and silence Fieri. Va bene. Wait, Nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. No one knows, but something has him on edge. How else Targus kills. Holy shit. And what? Shooting his mouth off again, no doubt. a poster thing I just need to synchronize this area Telling me he's not gonna climb up those?
Getting there. Ezio, your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. Oh, it's not allowing me to attack them anymore. Money, 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 money. Another poster and a guard I can kill. I see the poster up there. I'm guessing it starts at a hundred and we're just gonna keep on doing it until it gets completely I've taken away. I don't understand what that means, but okay. Got another one here. coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble. 
just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we've finished. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the father of understanding guide you. May, May the, the father, father of, of understanding, understanding guide you. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? Un pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che pro... Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened... Do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. Knife belt acquired. Okay. Wonder if he sells new clothes. Does. Four thousand. Uh, 
I don't have enough cash for weapons. I do have more health though. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavara. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a buttare. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio. Walk with me. Yes, uncle. The Pazzi answer to another. Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia, one of the most powerful men in all of Europe, and leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free, but not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right. That's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Mr. Francesco. I have done as requested, and spoken with your son. I agree with your assessment, though only in part. Yes, Vieri is rash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenary like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him, as you put it, beyond repair. Rather, I believe the solution to be a simple matter. He seeks your approval, your attention. These outbursts of his are a result of insecurities born out of a sense of inadequacy. He speaks of you often and fondly and expresses a desire to be closer to you. So, if he is loud and foul and angry, I believe it is simply because he wants to be noticed. He wants to be loved. Act as you see fit on the information I've given you here. But I must ask that we end this correspondence. Were it to discover the nature of our conversations, I fear what might become of me. Yours in confidence, Fra Giocondo. Look familiar? On their codex pages. Yes, your father you before he. Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. 
Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. <laughs> ah, so that's what that was. Did this? There's two more we need to find. There's one. Show up on the map? No, so it must be somewhere that side. This is just a normal chest. That's it. Stand that. Um, we're now looking for one more. Is where this one more could be. <laughs> Literally just running around this entire area now. Surely can't be outside, right? Could it? Maybe. Has to be inside, surely.
I don't know where we would find the final one. The balance of a true hunt. Something up there. Could it be in there? No way of me climbing up. No. Could the final codex maybe be inside the mansion because I'm not seeing anything outside. What codex be ye? Like I would expect it's in this vicinity, right? Oh no, there's it all the way over there. Found it. <laughs> Oh shit. I didn't want to. How did I just earn? I am stuck on this damn cliff. Downtown. So 
Monte, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. Wait, what? Shops, chest income, renovations, collections, equipment total 190 for 20 minutes completion, 1%. Oh shit, okay. It's showing me everything I need. Okay, so here's the way we make money. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Sir Ezio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can spell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing your income to increase it. So, let's take a look, shall we? Oh my god. Holy shit, that's expensive. Blacksmith. Oh, I don't have... Blacksmith and doctor would be the best thing. I only have 2,000 at the moment, so maybe let's... Let's renovate the bank. Uh, I have 1,900, we can renovate the tailor. Or should I just keep money? In case anything. Okay. Ezio, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. Crooked pages are displayed on this wall. <sighs> D 
This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the Assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I'd give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Oh, that looks nice. It's got a black hood on it as well. Statue of Amulet. Aminet. to go outside oh I don't want to climb I don't want to climb well I can't climb around it Assassin Street for Hollow is nice. Where am I even going right now? are still alive look at this place the past two years have been kind to you but you are not the same at all are you I was hoping you might be able to help me with something anything for you my friend haha -ha! you found another one how exciting hmm. 
This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm. What to make of all this? <laughs> of course. And why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! Assassination technique. Okay. So I'm guessing one is in the haystack, one's from above, and one's on a ledge. This one. Oh, the classic. I used to do that one all the time. I've done it. Come quickly. Look. Take it. Try it. Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. The fox? Shh. Capisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato, where the thieves dwell. Sta attento, amico. Unlock your final memory. Finally crafted the metal work here. Weapon dogs. You shouldn't notice me yet because you found all of the stuff that Yeah, that took away my wanted level, should I say? Deflect an attack. Oh, fucking God, I hate these guys. I did not think I would break that. What? My pouch, oh, my money. Your money. I don't have your money. <laughs> Get back here. Make me. You're making a big mistake, my friend. Enough of this. I really have no interest How do we in end up on the rooftop? So give me back my money and we'll call it even. Not so fast. What do you want? 
Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer, tagliagole, thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. <laughs> How do you know my name? <laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. To know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Ma certo. Let me know when you are ready, and we'll go. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is your money. So much for assassinating the tiger. move fast. Think you can keep up? That's some problema. See there. Are we gonna do a lot of parkour I'm guessing? Something glowing on that boat. And we have 30 seconds. Oh my god, here's you. Come on, come on, come on. I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh. With two seconds left. Here we are. Francesco Di Pazzi is meeting his people inside that church. How do I join them? There are catacombs that run under the city. They will lead you to a place where you can eavesdrop on the meeting. Grip that stone handle. Turn it, then slide it down. Thank you for all your help, Pope. Mm. Buona fortuna. High alert again. Um, got a catacomb.
thing. God, so how long do we have to stand decision. here, Saverio? It's so cold. What do you want, Ilario? Messer Pazzi is paying us good money to watch the entrance, and the dead won't try to murder us. I can't wait to go home to Elena and tell her how much gold we made tonight. That's how we get up there. Nope, that's not how we get up there. There has to be a way I can get up. So I would think jump on these things to get me onto that wall. There we go, just like that. So you can't crouch at all in this game. Ah, oh, there's a second one. about the chest if I'm being honest. Any problem would be how do I get up there? It's not showing me any way to jump up jump on, should I say. There is those things, maybe that's how. Thing that was meant to happen. I need to get, but oh, are you no man.
Surely there's an easy way I can get back up than running around this whole place. jump over here Merda! The door! Keep watch while I go look This was supposed to be an easy job I told you we shouldn't have come here If I hear anything, I'm a running to the other guard post So help me God! Are you below me? There's three of them. Surely. There's a way I can take out one of them if they walk. I don't. Saverio, I'll be back with the other guards. I have to find a way out before he kills me. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm at base again. Fail this mission. Not again. Catching up, catching up, catching up. No. Run faster. 
We're both just pairing each other at this point. Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos et maneat semper. Grazie, Padre. Bernardo? It's all here. Swords, staves, axes, armor, bows. Our men will want for nothing. I take this gift to mean the Pope consents. He gave his blessing to the operation. As long as nobody's killed. We're all set for the Duomo in the morning, Signore. The bait's been laid, but it wasn't easy. His fool. See, si. we'll need to be on hand to make sure Giuliano even gets out of bed for church tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Jacopo? Do you think they suspect something? Impossible. The Medici are too arrogant or too stupid to even notice. Likely a bit of both. <laughs> Do not underestimate our enemies, Francesco. Or have you already forgotten how your son was murdered? We'll suffer no such surprises this time, Maestro. You have my word. Molto bene. I should be off. I have some other business to attend to before I return to Rome. Gentlemen, tomorrow a new sun rises over Firenze. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May, May the Father, Father of, of Understanding guide us. Guide us. Open the sarcophagus. Look at that statue. It's identical to one in the Villa Auditore. I think you've stumbled onto one of the assassin's tombs Ezio's uncle mentioned. Oh, so are we gonna... Is those six tombs basically gonna be part of the game? Then, now that we know the way in, I'll well, the main the story. Tombs in the database. I know, apparently not. Is 
seal up there, there's one of six seals found. Ooh, they're bright. Francesco will be and when, but what is it? I overheard something. They have weapons, enough for a battalion. Even the Pope has given support. Mm. Typical of Sixtus, but what the hell are they planning? I couldn't understand the specifics, but it involves the Medici, and it begins tomorrow morning at the Duomo. The Medici will all be there for Sunday service, along with the rest of Firenze. They're going to do it right in the middle of high mass. But it's also a chance for me to blend with the crowd, get close, and stop this madness. If they succeed, if we lose Lorenzo and Firenze falls to the Pazzi... It will not come to that. I promise. I hope you are right. Okay, uh, it's not part of the main mission, I actually have to find the damn tunes. You should feel better now. Take care. Machine. What is this? I don't think I've been here. Pouches. Oh, so this is for more, I'm guessing. Oh, should we get a bigger medicine pouch for 6,000? Be able to carry more medicine instead of five. Oh, we can dye our clothes? Ooh. I want the black one. I want the black one. Coming in soon. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Okay, cool, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's just look at the map real quick. So, where am I going? What is this? Oh, that's a two. So we have to go there. Cool. I think with that being said, we're going to bring this episode of Assassin's Creed 2 to a close. So, thanks for watching. It's been quite an enjoyable episode. Um, getting to learn about Mr. Aditore. So, hey guys. Thanks for watching. Follow if you're new to the YouTube channel. Also, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're watching this on YouTube. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.